Hey, happy New Year's, guys. Hey everyone, welcome to the review, and yes, welcome to my first movie review of 2018. Again, I hope you all guys had a great holiday, great Christmas, a kick-ass Boxing Day, and an amazing New Year's. Yes, this is the first day, literally the first day of January, and I saw the first movie of 2018 for me. Yes, I got an early screening to go see the movie Paddington 2. Yes, Paddington 2 is the first January movie, the first movie of 2018 which I am super glad because I was going into this movie already with really high expectations and stuff and usually the first January movie I see is like one of the worst films of the year. Right off the bat, this movie's fucking awesome. Yes, Paddington 2. Yes, Paddington 2 is a sequel to the 2015 Paddington film, which also came out in January of 2015. So yeah, another good January movie. I guess Paddington's just one of those great January films. Yes, Paddington 2 stars Hugh Bonneville, Hugh Grant, Sally Hawkins, Jim Broadman, and Ben Wishaw as the voice of Paddington. And this movie is written and directed by Paul King once again. And the story of this movie takes place years ago, uh, years ago, years later after the first Paddington. And basically, Paddington is a Peruvian bear who lives with his family, the Brown family and stuff, and he's lived with them for a few years now after the first Paddington. And basically, he wants to get his aunt a gift, so he finds this pop-up book of London, but he doesn't have the money to buy the book, so he gets a job, but then other stuff starts happening. Hugh Grant is also, like, new to the neighborhood. He's, like, this weird, eccentric guy. He's this uh, washed-up actor who does dog commercials. And basically, he wants to steal the pop-up book because the pop-up book leads to a treasure and stuff. And then, basically, one thing leads to another. Paddington gets framed for stealing the book, and Paddington ends up going to jail, where he meets all these colorful characters, these convicts. One of them is played by Brendan Gleeson, who plays a guy named Knuckles, who wants to be a chef, but he's terrible at being a chef and stuff, but he has a heart of gold. And basically, it's up to the Browns to bust Pinton out of prison and stuff, and basically try to figure out who stole the pop-up book, and basically, it's Hugh Grant, because that's not a spoiler. We all know Hugh Grant was the villain in the movie. And it's up to the Brown family to take down Hugh Grant and stuff and basically restore happiness and peace in the neighborhood. And yeah, that's the story and the plot of Paddington 2. And this movie's amazing. This movie's great. I, again, I loved the first Paddington film. I thought it was so good, so funny. It's a great British comedy. I loved Paddington. He's an adorable, likable, charming character. I love the Brown family. They love great personalities. I love the kids. Sally Hawkins, Hugh Bonneville. I loved a Nicole Kidman as the villain in the first Paddington. She was just this like deranged, good-looking, almost like psychotic Ethan Hunt sort of character. She's like this Mission Impossible spy girl, but She's, like, out to kill Paddington and everything. It's just, she was such a great villain. And this one, once again, there's another great villain. Hugh Grant plays this villain, and I loved his character. He was one of my favorite characters in this movie. He was just such a funny villain. Because, again, he's this washed-up actor and stuff, and he does all these dog commercials. And basically, he wants to, you know, be famous once again and everything. So he thinks if he finds this treasure and... And pays off all his dead stuff. He become, he can become a big famous actor again. He's absolutely insane though, because he has like these mannequins in his attic of all these like famous actors and famous like you know stage characters and movie characters. And he talks to the mannequins and does the voices and stuff. So he's literally crazy and stuff. And it's pretty funny. It's really hilarious. There is a lot of great comedy in this movie. Not only good slapstick and good British wooden stale humor, which I love. I love dry humor. That's the the British humor, I love it, but it's just, it's just such a likable, fun adventure film, this is such a good movie, such a great film for kids, great films, a great film for adults, great film, a great film for Paddington fans, I was never, like, the biggest Paddington fan, I, like, I, I saw a bit of the show when I was a kid and stuff, and I even read a couple of the books and stuff, I was very familiar with Paddington, but I was never, like, a Paddington fan, but when the film that came out in 2015, when the first Paddington film came out, I absolutely adored the movie. I thought it was so good, so charming, so funny, so likable, so adorable. I freaking loved it. Paddington 2 is just as good as the first film. This is such a great film with great characters. 
all of, all, everyone gives a great performance. Like, even Sally Hawkins is so good. Uh, Hugh Bonneville has a lot of great jokes in the film, especially in the ending is really funny. And I love that he's going through like a midlife crisis in this film. It's so friggin' enjoyable. The kids are awesome. The new characters they bring, like the prison inmates, one of them is Brendan Gleeson. Brendan Gleeson is so good. Jim Broadman's back. He's really great. All the neighbors in the neighborhood, they're all just great characters. I love that this movie's very quirky. It actually has some like Wes Anderson-esque moments in this film and stuff. Like there's at times I felt like this movie was directed by Wes Anderson. It feels very Wes Anderson, even sometimes with the style and the quirky humor and everything. Even in all the scenes when Paddington's in prison, it felt like Grand Budapest Hotel. It literally did. Even the way how they break out of prison, it felt very Grand Budapest Hotel. That's not a flaw. It's just, it, it feels like it's an homage to Wes Anderson. And yeah, this is just a great film. It has a really great epic, climax, it has a very heartwarming ending, very touching scenes, a lot of touching scenes, and again, it's just really funny, and it's great for the whole family, and I absolutely love this film. This is such a great January film. Uh, it makes me more nervous for January, because I don't think any film is going to be as good as Paddington 2, but Paddington 2 is such a fantastic film. My only, like, minor nitpicks is some of the jokes don't land, and some of the scenes in this movie come off a bit uh, unoriginal and stuff. Very, very nitpicky, uh, very nitpicky flaws I have in this film. This film, in general, is so good. It's, it's as good as the first one. I absolutely love it. I'm going to buy it when it comes out on Blu-ray, and yeah, this is a fantastic way to start out the year. This is a great movie to watch to start out the year of 2018, because I don't like starting out a year with absolute shit, like I did last year and almost every other year, but yeah, this is a great first movie to watch of 2018. This is an amazing film. When it comes out in theaters, please check it out. It is so good. If you love the first one, you'll adore this movie. Even if you never even seen the first one, still watch it. I still think you'll get a lot of good comedy out of this movie, get, get a lot of heart out of it, and still have a lot of fun with it. So yeah, definitely check out Paddington 2. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give the movie Paddington 2 a 9.5 out of 10. Yes, I am going super high with it. This is a damn great film. Best movie of 2018 so far, even though this is the only movie I've seen of 2018, but it's the best. <laughs> So yeah, that was my review for the movie Paddington 2. So in the comments section below, please tell me, uh, are you a fan of Paddington? Did you grow up with the show? Did you grow up with the books? And if you did, tell me your favorite episode. Tell, tell, me your, tell me your favorite books of Paddington stuff. And also, did you like the first Paddington more or the second Paddington more? Personally, I don't know which one I like more. Maybe the first one by the slightest hair is a little bit better, but still. This movie's still amazing. But yeah, give me your thoughts and opinions on Paddington, the books, the shows, the movies. Give me your thoughts and opinions. Comment below. Let me know. And as always, if you like this video, please subscribe to this channel and join the dark side.